Hey there friends and enemies, Joe Boy here again and today I am checking out the brand new Final Fantasy 16 trailer that just dropped with State of Play June 2022 and I cannot wait. The rumors have been spreading all over the place that we're going to get a release date soon. There's going to be loads of new info on Final Fantasy 16 coming up soon and I am so stoked. I know a lot of people are up and down about Final Fantasy 15 and are excited to get back to the next mainline entry in the Final Fantasy series. As am I, I can't wait. So let's jump into the trailer, see what it's all about. And I'll give some reactions afterwards, my thoughts and all that kind of good stuff. In a world ruled by tyranny and turmoil, there are those who would fight to take back control of their fate. Who are we? What are the dominance? The power we wield, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. That looks sick. The icon. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Combat looks good. Definitely a throwback. Sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. Yeah, the abilities look great so far. I'm in. I unite the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife and found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. Yeah, this looks dope. I wonder if we'll get big battles or something like this. If I take the field, or if it'll just be a custom. Our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Okay, that's dope. I love the summons in Final Fantasy. They're always so great. Are we getting actual battles? Of dominate versus dominate? Oh my god, that'd be so awesome. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. Oh, that's messed up. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. <laughs> Oh, this is hype. Yeah, give me more of those dominance summons, Awaken, whatever you call them. Child of fate. Awaken if breed. Nice. Summer 2023. Nice. We got a release. That's sick. Okay. Initial thoughts. The battles between the, the dominance, unbelievable. If we actually get a fight with these in game as like a 1v1 kind of combat thing, or just like a boosted summon of some sort, I am all in on that. I feel like it's a nice progression of a way to handle them in a way that's unique to Final Fantasy 16, but still represents the history of Final Fantasies uh, and just the summons of the past. Because I feel like just having standard summons with just a quick animation, they hop in, do their thing, and then hop out. It's kind of been done so much that I want to see a unique take on it. And that's really has me excited. Now, I, I really am looking forward to the basic combat as well. It looks like it's going to be action RPG-like, but... Some throwback aspects. The move set looks really, really cool as far as some of the animations what we've seen. Um, the story sounds like it's going to be a traditional Final Fantasy affair, but we'll see on that because a lot of times it's the twists and turns that they don't really show you in, in advance that really make Final Fantasy either a big hit story-wise 
or just okay. You know what I'm saying? Some of them, some of Final Fantasies have been good but not great with regards to the story, whereas others have been like mind blowingly good. So hopefully this is the latter, and this is a, another epic tale that we just fall in love with. I would absolutely adore that. So. Other than that, uh, release date of summer 2023 uh, doesn't have an exact date, but as long as we know that it's coming in the middle of next year, I think that's a perfect time. Normally, the summer is pretty dry with games, and having such a huge title launch during that time period is fantastic. I think it can be the dominant game for a couple of months if we don't get a bunch of releases around the same time. I know Square Enix itself has a bunch of games releasing next year so that's very exciting but overall this is a game that is probably my top five of most look forward to games coming up in the next year or two and knowing it's only a year away and everything that we've seen so far has me very very excited it feels much more like a final fantasy title than final fantasy 15 ever did to me personally if you liked Final Fantasy XV, that's fine. I think it was not a bad game necessarily. It just didn't capture the the heart and the the true nature of Final Fantasy that I would have liked personally. This one, I feel like, is going to be more in line with what I would have expected. Now, obviously, we have this, and then we also have more Final Fantasy VII remake on the way as well. So I'm assuming this will release next year, and then the following year will be the next part of the Final Fantasy VII remake. And yeah, overall, I'm excited. It looks like it's going to be really gorgeous on PS5, which is probably where, uh, which is where I'm going to be playing it on. And I'm very excited. I can't wait. Hopefully, as we dive deeper into this, we get a little bit more of a feel on how the summon system is going to work, how the battles are going to, is it going to be open world style, or are we going to have a more linear focus? Are there going to be these big army battles like you somehow can influence, like your... Uh, whether it's just controlling forces like uh, in Dragon Age Inquisition or if you're actually going to be on the battlefield in little sub battles on there. So either way, I'm excited. I can't wait to see more of this game. Excited that it comes a year from now and hopefully it lives up to the hype. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to obviously have Final Fantasy 16 content on this channel, but also a bunch of other RPGs and upcoming games that I'm excited about as well as games... When they drop, I'll have very new information. Subscribe, comment down below what you're most looking forward to with Final Fantasy 16. My name is Jokwa, and I'll catch you all later.